How to lead a eco-friendly lifestyle. Up to 90% of the energy used by a washing machine goes toward heating water. This not only reduces carbon dioxide emissions, but it also keeps your garments in better condition for longer, as hot water can degrade the fabric and dull the color of your beautiful clothes. It's almost a shame not to line dry your clothes outside during the summer. There's something unique about drying clothes on a line in the open air. Not to mention, hanging your clothes and bedding outside on a drying rack rather than drying them in the dryer will help them last longer. It makes a tremendous difference to invest in the correct energy-efficient light bulbs. It will not only save money on power, but you will also be helping the environment. LED lights are the preferable choice to regular bulbs, no matter how attractive they are. If you own a recycle bin, you'll be more careful of recycling glass bottles, jars, paper, and other items that should be recycled and a compost bin will aid in the disposal of leftovers, while also providing free fertilizer for your plants. If you're wondering what to do with the fertilizer, the answer is simple, start your own herb garden. Herbs don't take up much room. Plant them in little pots and place them near a sunny spot inside the house. What is the major benefit? Fresh herbs will always be available for your favorite meals. Walking or using public transit such as the bus or metro are both excellent ways to begin. This can help prevent wasteful gasoline consumption, which is harmful to the environment. If you want to save energy, you should turn off the lights in rooms that aren't being used. You can also try to use eco-friendly lights that use less energy than standard bulbs. There are a lot of quality options available that eco-friendly schools already use. To make sure that your school is eco-friendly, both students and staff members need to stand up against plastic waste. Work with school authorities to find possibilities to switch to eco-friendly bulk items, such as cleaning materials and classroom supplies. Introduce a campaign to fight air pollution. Students, parents, and teachers should not have to drive around outside your school. They should walk, cycle, or use public transportation instead. Lights and electronic equipment should be turned off when the office is closed. This will help save energy resources as well as cut down on the amount of money your company spends on its electric bill. When you buy food for lunch, it's likely that it'll come in a bag that you'll have to throw away. If you must do so, make sure to put the recyclables in a recycle container. If you must bring food from home, pack it in reusable containers inside of a reusable storage bag. Disposable water bottles can be found all over landfills, and their environmental impact is bad, to say the least. It costs less money to buy a reusable water bottle than to throw away a plastic bottle. You won't have to drink the invisible residue that comes from plastic bottles that are thrown away. Plant real plants all over your office and other indoor work areas. Carbon dioxide can be found in trees and plants, so having them inside makes the air cleaner. They also make everyone's lives more peaceful and fun. If there isn't a recycle bin at work, see if it's okay to put one in a well-trafficked location of the workplace so that everyone is reminded to use it. Spread the word that a recycle container is available at the office if one is required. Then, by displaying it prominently, it will serve as a gentle reminder of the significance of recycling. You want your vacation memories to last a lifetime, but 500 years is far too long. Plastic bags can take up to 500 years to decompose, so bring a reusable shopping bag with you to local markets. When flying, every kilo counts. The heavier a plane is, the more carbon emissions it emits. Pack only what you need, the environment will appreciate it. Remember to behave in a hotel like you would at home, avoid getting clean towels unless absolutely necessary, take short showers, and remember to switch off the TV, lights, and air conditioning when you leave the room. Taking public transportation is one of the most environmentally friendly things you can do when traveling. It means you're not adding to your carbon footprint by using private transportation. 
it will also enhance your vacation experience by allowing you to interact with locals. Smaller groups tend to have less of an environmental impact, so travel with a small group tour operator that's environmentally responsible. Before you book, ask what size the group will be. Teach others about the importance of living an environmentally friendly life. The more people share an awareness of the importance of the environment, the more we can do together to conserve it.